Hi, my name is Klaus Weivig and I'm here to present our paper Sound Source Localization and Reconstruction Using a Wearable Microphone Array and Inertial Sensors. This is presented at the Fusion 2020 Virtual Conference in the special session Advances in Motion Estimation 1, Inertial Sensors. The research is performed by uh, me and my colleagues at Lean Sherping University. We've developed a prototype of a wearable microphone array. We use this prototype to evaluate the linearized direction of arrival method for both direction of arrival and sound source separation. We can track the sound sources in a global frame using an IMU in the prototype. And we also developed the linearized direction of arrival method to handle multiple sources. We evaluate these methods in both simulations and experiments and we collaborate with a hearing aid company, Oticon, so we do have hearing aid applications in mind uh, for these methods. The advantages of linearized direction of arrival, which is a method where we use Taylor series expansion of the sound source signals is that we can perform slow sampling for the direction of arrival uh, since we only use snapshots of the microphone array uh, for each estimate. It works with both wideband and narrowband. It is an advantage to using small arrays theoretically, uh, which is great if you want to apply this in uh, hearing aids. The method uh, works in both near field and far field and it's suitable for parallelization. The array frame prototype we developed has eight microphones, two on each side and four in the front. These are glasses that you put on your head and to um, fit all the electronics we place the headboard on top here. And in there we have an IMU, we have a DSP, uh, Sony's presence with audio recording capabilities. And we also put a battery in there and a Wi-Fi card for control. The entire frame here is 3D printed. It's modular so we can attach all the pieces and replace them individually. And then entire design here is uh, open both the source and the, for the electronics and the, the design for the 3D print. The single model we use is the following, where each microphone in the single source case receives a signal that is just a delayed version of the true signal with some measurement noise. Uh, I know this is uh, a rather simplified version since we don't consider any attenuation or room impulse response, but um, this is our first attack on the problem. So, um, what we do is we perform a Taylor series expansion at the time of the snapshot around the delays for each uh, sensor. This gives us uh, a truncated sum uh, like this where we have the derivatives of the sound source signal in S and um, some coefficients dependent on the um, time delay. Now we can vectorize this where we have the derivatives of the sound source in X and we have the coefficients in H depending on the time delay. Now moving back to the signal model that we use, we can replace the true signal with approximation and we also add a bit of noise uh, to the measurement to uh, account for the neglected terms in the approximation. We also discretize this uh, in the following. Uh, using this we can vectorize the entire model um, into the following form. Uh, where H is just all the lowercase H's stacked. Now using this model we can uh, estimate the signal and its derivatives using least squares, especially since we only have identical noises for the for each sensor. Um, 
This method is denoted the linearized direction of arrival and it estimates the single derivatives from samples in space. Uh, this also means that each estimate is independent in time and this is very efficient. However, the independence in time also allows for inconsistencies. So to enforce consistency, we um, add constraints to this estimation problem here. Uh, we'll connect the signals and its derivatives over time. Um, for example, we can use this F matrix to enforce that the derivatives in time and space uh, are equal. This reduces the, um, to an optimization problem on this form which we can solve using constraint least squares. And as you can see here, we need to consider all the signals uh, at the same time, um, which was an advantage of the lean dual that we did not have to do before. So far, we assume that the time delays are known. However, we need to estimate those as well, and we do that using um, the optimization problem for minimizing the estimation error squared. Now the x hat in here could be the results of any of the variance of linearized direction of arrival we looked at before. And to minimize this we need to look at all the delays for all the time microphones. However we do have some constraints where we can parameterize the delays in the direction of arrival or uh, a location somewhere. And this can then be solved using numerical search. We also consider the multiple sources and we do this by superpositioning them uh, in the signal model. Uh, on this form we can still obtain a model on the same form as before. before. By design however, uh, age tau is now ranked efficient which results in an unobservable model for uh, linearized direction of arrival. Adding the constraints, however, uh, allows us to regain the observability of the model. We evaluated these methods in um, both simulations and experiments, and here we look at the direction of arrival of two sources. On the left here we have the simulation and we see that all methods perform quite well, uh, especially when only one of the sound sources is active. On the right here we have an experiment with a ray frame prototype we developed um, in a similar scenario and we can see that the estimates are much more scattered uh, which is likely due to the very reverberant environment that we recorded in. Uh, we still see that some of the methods they managed to uh, to find the sources uh, quite okay. Next we look at a single source tracked by a constrained linearized direction of arrival and we compare it to an IMU estimate. So in this scenario we have a stationary sound source and a microphone array that is rotated 45 degrees at a time. And as we can see the estimate uh, is tracked quite well. Uh, we also performed IMU integration and here we have the recording in uh, the direction of arrival estimate in body frame and when we compensate this into global frame we obtain a, a rather uh, good estimate of the direction of arrival of the source in a global frame. We also looked at sound source separation. So in this case we uh, had a simulated environment. We uh, recorded um, a left and right channel and we tried to estimate them without including the other. And as we can see we have quite a decent correlation between the, the estimated and the true channels but we also have a lot of crosstalk between the left and right channels. Uh, using constrained linearized direction of arrival however and in this case with two sources um, we obtain the following results where we have quite high correlation between the, the true uh, channels 
and low correlation between the opposite channels. We developed a head-worn microphone array prototype. It's 3D printable and has a modular design to allow for rapid development. We've integrated this array with an IMU to allow for global tracking. We developed a few variants of linearized direction of arrival to handle multiple sources. We've shown that the linearized direction of arrival methods can be used to track a single source in a reverberant environment. And we've also shown that we can perform sound source separation of two sources quite well in a simulated environment. Future work should entail theoretical analysis of this method and should look into deep reverberation and uh, calibration using a head-related transfer function to um, improve the performance of the array frame prototype. Um, most likely would benefit from adding additional sensors like a camera for face tracking to obtain a better direction of arrival estimates for the reconstruction. We should evaluate various form factors, the dimensions of the array, number of microphones, and uh, the orders in the Taylor series approximation. And also we should add a multi-target tracking framework to um, improve the performance of uh, tracking sound sources. That was all for me. Thank you very much for listening.